my god. <laughs> what a shit show. Who else is left? Mira's death? Oh god. did the right thing. I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Light it up. <clears throat> oh, Sylvie. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter mm -hmm. is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. True. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. Stay here. He said protect the grove at all costs. He did not say protect the house. He said the grove specifically. Also, we can't go to the house right now, okay? It is full of crap and dead people. So we're gonna stay right I here. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. Exactly. We are literally no help to them. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Oh, Mira. It's been a long road of really terrible decisions. I am the worst. Oh my god. I'm so glad I don't live in this world. <laughs> I would be so dead immediately. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sarah. Scumbag. <laughs> We're gonna die with dignity. Mira. Oh my god. Screw you. Screw you. Okay. Bring forth the next prisoner. Here we go. Alright. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. Kill you don't know that. A disgrace to her Stand tall. Name. Stand tall, girl. Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Raven! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She Do I? Raven! Iron from ice, baby. Iron from ice. A brave Raven! Oh, noble Killer! death. Neil. Oh my God, you guys. The. Uh. What a shitty way to go, man. Oh, I still have to, I have to keep going. <laughs> oh, God. Gross.
seriously the worst way to go. My hair get in the way? Should I move my hair? I would like it to take one blow, please. Ah! Oh, jeez. I was really hoping, like, last second, Seriously would be like, nope, JK. But no, uh, my decisions lead all the foresters to die. So... ship it. Wait, are they related in some way? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Bad ass, dude. Oh my god. I'm emotionally drained, you guys. House Forest. <sighs> they were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> wow. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. But then there was that day when she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help, when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then, but another Lord Forrester? Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. Needless to say, I wasn't too impressed. And... I was hardly surprised to hear he didn't last long. A savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. 
He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Wow. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were clever, I'll give them that, but far too sentimental. <laughs> Ruled by emotion when they should have been smart. Instinctive, instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Yeah, instinct and nobility. I'll take that. Oh, God. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, there's more. Crap. Asher. Uh, there's a dude over there. Hello? Hello? How are we alive? Our intestines are about to pop out of us. <laughs> Asha? My lord. Holy <laughs> sh- Is that Roderick? <laughs> We don't have much time. Roderick, you son of a bitch. I know what you they did. They have won this battle, but they will not win this war. Roderick with the save! That's why I didn't kill him. Is that Beshka? Beshka, you made good on your promise, girl. Love you. Mean it. Ryan is pissed. Oh my god! What happened? Like, what happened? Everybody died. Was it all my decisions? I mean, obviously, yes. Like, how, how does it end? Is there, like, any good ending? Okay, so 61% told Marjorie the truth and were dismissed. You know, Mira has made... Sorry, I hit the mic there. Mira has made so many mistakes, and I can't blame her. They were all my decisions. <laughs> and I felt that this was the time to really come clean, you know? And I feel like that's more important to Marjorie. I feel like if we had lied, she still would have found out somehow, and then she'd be even more pissed because we lied. 76% refused to marry Morgan. As... She said, as Mira said in that moment, I'd rather die. Um, the only, like, ounce of me that slightly regrets that decision is just the thought of, like, if there is potentially a possibility where you, like, accept and then you can, like, kill him and exact revenge and become lady lord lordress lady lady probably of the house you know what i'm saying so <sighs> but no 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 that guy is a scumbag he's a creep he is an a-hole i don't think so 
Um, 39.7 gave Cotter a merciful death. Wow. That is a lot smaller of a percentage than I would have expected. Um, because, I don't know. It's just, uh, that girl's brother, J- Joc- Jocelyn, J- Josine, J- Josephine, whatever her name is. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Um, her brother tells us that her every time she dabbles in the blood magic she gets weaker and weaker and so she's like losing her control over her little zombie people and you know so it's like why would I a you know sacrifice my friend to help her like in the now you know like right right then and there it might help but in the future it just would make her weaker um and be like cotter's been through some shit like he just deserved to die okay it's what he wanted it was his in his living will that he verbally told me so 27.9 percent poisoned lord whitehill and lady forrester wow also a small percentage um i'm not surprised though i mean i in that moment i definitely was like oh my god i need to stop her <laughs> But I was worried that if I stopped her, like, Asher wouldn't have drank the poison in the end. I I was worried that, like, what would happen is that it would have tipped Lud off and then we wouldn't have poisoned anyone. (laughs) Because uh, Lud would have been like, "Ah, I'm not going to drink this then and you're a liar. And then we just would have fought, you know. So... I let uh, our mom take one for the team in that moment. Um, She knew what she was doing, so. But uh, it was totally in vain. I mean, Lord Whitehill died, but Griff is still alive, and Gwyn is kicking butt and taking names. 51.8% stayed to defend the North Grove. Like I said, in the moment, we would not be any help, really, whatsoever. Um to those of us who are limping out of iron wrath (laughs) you know like we we would have wouldn't have made there there in time and lord gregor's final words were protect you know the the north grove must not be lost so protect the north grove at all costs so that's what we're doing oh my god that was so crazy that was such an emotional roller coaster i have a headache from how stressed i am (laughs) and i don't mean that in a negative way even because it's like it's it's an amazing thing for the story of a video game to be so immersive and intense that you come out of it and you're like physically fatigued (laughs) Um, you know, and I think that that's something that really only Telltale Games has achieved for me. Um, oh my gosh, what a game, you guys, what a game, what a season, that was the end of season one of Telltale's Game of Thrones, and it was fantastic. Um, I cannot wait for season two, and by that I also mean that I can wait, because... I need to, like, go back and, and take notes and figure out how to play it in the in the next season. Like, how are we going to bring House Forrester back from the dead, quite literally? Um, oh, my gosh. I can't. Can't. It's so, so many people died. Uh, um, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Those of you who played through season one of game of thrones please 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 in the comments below leave um how you may have played the game differently what decisions did you make that were different from mine and how did they turn out i want to know um i'll probably end up going back and playing through the whole thing again and making different decisions just to see what happens but but yeah let me know what your decisions turned out and uh give me tips and tricks for uh, making good decisions in the future because I am terrible at making decisions on the fly. (laughs) 
Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, with the end of Game of Thrones, that means that uh, Wolf Among Us is going to be coming back. Um, so now that Game of Thrones is done on the channel for now, until the next season, obviously, we're going to finish up uh, Wolf Among Us. Uh, however much there is to play in that, I believe... We are three episodes in of the first season, so we should probably have a couple episodes left of that. And when we've played through all that we can play through of Wolf Among Us, we will probably start another Telltale game because I love them too much to leave them alone. <laughs> so that will be awesome. Something to look forward to. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. If you enjoyed, please favorite and subscribe and share this video with your friends who can also learn from my mistakes. <laughs> um, but thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.